So I have brought the reference back up. I want to actually just kind of think through what I'm going to do for this area here before jumping in. Uh, why is that not working? So I got... Oh, so in this case, I bet it's spotlight projection. All right, whatever. So that there you go. I don't. I really don't have any idea why I can't sculpt on this with the spotlight up, whereas before it was no problem. But that's I, I mentioned this at some point, and anyway, so it just kicked uh, kicked up again. So anyway, just uh, disable spotlight projection, which like lives in brush and sample. I forget. Yeah, spotlight projection. Which, yeah, anyway, whatever. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to, we've got this middle feature. I'm turning lazy, uh, lazy mouse up. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. Turn my intensity down. So there's a center feature and then these like little venti things. So we have this thing here. I think I'll just inherit whatever is going on with that. And then, I don't know, something like this. Maybe, I'm trying to think of it like, well, if it was a gas mask or something like what it would look like, even though that's, it's not really the exact thing I'm going for. Maybe something in the middle of like a gas mask and a, like a radiator on a car. But anybody that knows what these look like would recognize that there's something comparable on the front. At least I presume. I think this is part of their noisemaker. These things are loud if you live in a part of the world somehow where they don't exist. So one of the cool things about hard surface geo, or one, I don't know cool things, but one of the, the hallmarks of it is you get like sort of repeating patterns. So this is a good opportunity for us to enjoy creating some of that. Well, nothing's carved in stone, so if we change our mind, we can we can always do something else. So I'm going to go into edit topology. We'll just start the beginning or this uh, this top piece here. Kind of want to integrate it in a little bit better, but for now, whatever. This will be okay. Once again, anytime you've got a, a thing that has a center line on it, you want to make sure that you are creating. The retop, uh, unmask on the center line initially, not adding it in as an edit. Like whatever. Some part of the the model is probably not going to be looked at all that closely, and my guess is under the chin might be that part. Tap the W key, uh, just adjust some of this stuff. So I don't love the shape of that. It's just kind of a straight line, but whatever. We can, maybe we'll do something interesting with these little thin things here. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll make it a Polymesh 3D. Hit a bend. Sometimes you have to do it wrong so you can figure out what the correct answer is. That happens all the time. And I'm just going to do all my usual stuff here just to get this roughed in. And we'll do an inflate. And I'm going to just crease. We'll set this to, oops, I was on the face there. I want to go to crease in the edge menu, edge of complete. And I like the corners rounded down there. Oops, let's just sample the color. I don't like them rounded up there. Okay, that'll be fine. Let's try to find something that's kind of consistent there. So maybe, maybe this is how we, we can make this work as we just throw some some changes in there to that surface. Looks like it's got a little dent there. I 
and we'll set this over to two and three or four. Okay, now let's take a look at what's going on on this stuff here. So I'm going to want some kind of a repeating form. So I think what I'll do is start with some kind of relatively simple retop. And we'll do like a little edge here. Let me make the color darker so it's easier to see. Just keeping an eye on what's going on with my count. Oops. Just made my brush size a lot smaller there so I don't run into move inverts I'm not trying to move. All right. Uh, this might be a little bit of a challenge because that really wants to go into a triangle, something like this maybe. So the reason I'm keeping this real vague is my plan is I'm going to add some more geometry using the Z modeler brush. So I just really I want to keep these in rings. That's what's important here because if I'm going to if I'm going to be adding stuff I'll be using uh, the insert edge feature. And you can totally move the stuff without the geometry showing. You're just not going to snap to the surface. So a thing to be aware of. So I've got this edge coming in there. Something I can, can lean into if I need to. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Probably going to have to go into the next video for this, but we can make it into a polymesh 3D. We can append it to the bottom of our stack. I'm actually going to go back to the subtool, tap A, go to delete topo, and then select that geometry, which is coming both sides pointing in the right direction is great. And you can see the spacing now is actually pretty consistent. I'm just going to add an, a few more edges. So we'll put one in there, one around like there, and then delete that one. And I sort of like how how the like this line here it almost feels like it goes up and then it comes back down. So maybe we add one more in here and then I'm just going to mask it. And we'll just like scoot it up a little bit. I don't really want to change the edges though. So we get something like that. All right, so for each one of these, I'm going to do a bevel. Bevels will screw up your creasing, but if you don't have any creasing, it doesn't really matter. And I probably should be doing these using the repeat last command just by clicking on it. So it'll, it'll use the values that I applied on the previous stroke or whichever stroke I happen to be looking at. And now I am going to, I need to add a, an edge inside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all these out and I need there to be something in the, like a, a canyon feature here that I can lean on for that. And now we're going to do an inflate. And that's kind of what I'm, what I'm going for. However, I probably need to do an extrude before I start inflating it. So we'll just do extrude 
all polygons. Go backwards with it. Do our flip. Uh, I think I hit the wrong button. There we go. And now with this, I can do an inflate. And then if I do a crease poly group, I start to get something that looks a little bit like this. Set this to two, increase that a bit. Let's go ahead and carve this back. And we'll continue adjusting this in the next video.